Welcome to the Plant Centered and Thriving Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Kitchens. Before we get into the show, we have a form that you can now fill out, which is in the show notes. If you have a question about the podcast, about a guest, or a question for Katie Rye, you can ask it. You can ask the questions anonymously, or you can ask the questions with your name included, and we will, of course, shout you out. So click below to find that form in the show notes. And then today I want to give a special shout out to our listeners in Nepal, in Wellington, Missouri, in Friday Harbor, Washington, and in Shilden, England. Thank you so much for being part of this community and for listening to the podcast. Now let's get into the show. Welcome to the show, plant-centered listeners. My name is Ashley and I'm your host today. And I have a very special guest with me today. So I'm really excited for you to hear her story, her journey, and all the work that she is doing to give back and support other people when it comes to raising their kids on plants. So today I have with me Jenna Lee Rude. She is a wife to Jake, a mom of two little plant-based girls and the founder of Raised on Plants. She was raised predominantly plant-based by her parents, which is very rare for people our age of 20s, 30s to be raised on plants. So she brings such a unique perspective to plant-based living. So she was raised predominantly plant-based by her parents. And after her UCLA years, she fully committed to a whole food plant-based lifestyle in her early twenties. At the age of 25, she leveled up her passion project to her dream career by achieving the position of national marketing director with a multi-billion dollar global health food company and continues today via her family's Health Made Simple Pro platform leading a global team of over 2,000 influencers to build and scale successful businesses rooted in their passions. Thanks to this plant-powered movement and Raised on Plants, she is curating and spreading education, events, valued content, and resources for anyone interested in simply living a more plant-powered lifestyle. And I'm so grateful that I got to play a special, small special role in what Jenna is doing, which she is doing such remarkable things. And you can just tell in our interview, I know you'll be able to tell this, her passion for helping other people is so evident and it's so genuine. And um, she's just such a beautiful human being. Jenna was incredibly transparent in this interview. She talks about what it was like with her being raised on plants, what it's like raising her own family on plants, you know, how to just navigate going to a doctor who might not encourage you raising your own kids on plants, uh, maybe judgments from other people and what that looks like. So I just really appreciate Jenna and her not shying away from some tough questions and just being really open and honest about her own situation and everything that she is doing, which is incredibly wonderful. So please join me in welcoming Jenna to the show. Welcome to the show, Jenna. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. So to give the listener a little bit of a background on how we met, you have something very exciting that has launched recently, which we're going to talk about, but that's basically how we connected on social media. Um, but I don't want to give too much away because I want to talk about that at the end. So you'll have to stay tuned for this exciting, exciting Okay, I'm going to be like a little bit of hint app that Jenna and her company is launching. So we'll get to that. But Jenna, before we do, could you give us a little bit, a little bit of a background on who you are and what you do without giving too many details away? Yes, yes. So I, um, I'm Jenna. I'm a mom here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have two girls and um, I am originally from here. I'm kind of a unicorn here now since our city is growing so much, um, but I did um, spend 10 years in Los Angeles. I went to UCLA for school, which is where I met my husband, Jake, um, when we were freshmen, the second week of school, freshman year. Um, and uh, we loved living in LA. It was actually where we originally kind of launched our passion for wellness and for health um, out there as we helped build my family's brand out, Health Made Simple, um, for for years, that's what we did and um, still do actually, but um, had so much fun um, connecting with a city that was very much um, a leader in the space of plant-based nutrition. <laughs> and so um, I had to wait until Charlotte caught up a little bit before I moved back home. Um, I was like, they have to at least get one 
good juice place here uh -huh. <laughs> and some good restaurants. Right. So, um, so we did move back here when I, um, start, was pregnant with my first uh, daughter. So we've lived here oh. and, um, and I have been passionate about just, um, helping others eat more plants, live a healthier lifestyle, uh, for my entire life, it stems from my my parents um, and their passion for that. My dad's a physician, my mom's an exercise physiologist, and um, ran the wellness center at UNC Chapel Hill. So um, that was instilled in me, you know, from the beginning. And to this day, I have never looked back. I I want to be a part of this movement. I've always wanted to make a difference in the lives of others by teaching them how to be healthier. All right. Well, so you said something in your intro about going back to the beginning of plant-based eating. I know for you, the beginning was quite a while ago. So how did that sort of come about in your childhood and in your life with your dad being a physician and your mom being into exercise physiology and shout out to UNC because I know that she was a big part of that. Um, I know. <laughs> yeah. So what was the beginning for you? Cause I know it's been a while. Yeah. Um, well, we, you know, grew up, I feel like, like any family at first, just trying our very best. My mom, um, my mom learned about all of this in her grad school program and her research was actually in oxidative stress and how, you know, antioxidants interact in the body and how fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, beans make a huge difference in reducing that oxidative damage. Um, and she just had this aha moment where she was like, this is it. This is it. If we can tell people about the power of plants and get them eating more plant food, we will tremendously affect their life for the better. And um, so she just started sharing that. And really, um, she's been, you know, a professor, a teacher, an educator, a keynote speaker, an author, you know, just sharing this message of plants are powerful. We all have to eat more of them. She got the nickname, the crazy plant lady. <laughs> so um, pretty early on, because, you know, back then people were like, what's kale? Like, oh, they, yeah. I mean, <laughs> no one even knew, like they thought it was just the decoration around the salad bar. Like they were like, you can eat that. <laughs> so, you know, she, she was a pioneer of, of this, um, this conversation that luckily now as you and I both know it's blown up. It's all over the world. It's people, people are talking about, people are interested in it. People have heard, oh, my friend went plant-based and they felt amazing. Like, I really want to try that. So it's so cool to have seen that, you know, play out over the last, um, three decades really. But when we first, so when my mom first learned about all this, she started making changes in our own family. And we ate, I would say 90% plant-based. That was always the goal. We were never hundred percent growing up, but we at home, especially ate tons of plants and everything that she brought into the house was plant-based. And we at first weren't getting enough variety. So she, we still were dealing with like, I still had ear infections and eczema and other, you know, things that are normal for kids, um, mm -hmm. in our world. She was like, this can't be like, there, there's, there's gotta be something we're missing. And so we really worked hard then to increase the variety of plants we were eating. So we weren't just eating the same thing over and over again, grapes and carrots, grapes, carrots, you know, constantly, or like my brother who only ate white foods didn't touch each other. So oh, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> We had to get some really, really creative um, ideas in the house. And some of that was like introducing a smoothie every morning, like getting a lot of variety in a smoothie um, that really helped. We started integrating plant powders, dehydrated plants um, into our morning routine instead of the traditional like isolated gummy vitamin situation that um, was the Flintstone generation that we all grew up in. Yep. <laughs> um, stuff like that, just little changes um, that we made. And our eyes were just opened up to this world of, wow, this has changed everything. I mean, I'm talking no more antibiotics, I'm not dealing with eczema anymore. My mom's allergy is going away. My brother actually wow. starting to ask for real food, yeah. <laughs> not, not white foods that don't touch each other. Um, but, you know, could I have some broccoli, mom? Could I try that? you know, really seeing some impactful changes. And then as we continued to go through our childhood, that just developed more and more and more where we looked back and we're like, gosh, we didn't, we didn't, none of us got the flu this year. Like none of us, you know, we didn't deal with the same sicknesses that we were dealing with, with being in school or bringing home germs and that sort of thing. So, um, so it became very clear that this was the way to go. This is our lifestyle that we wanted to live. And 
I just grew up with hummus in my lunchbox and, you know, a giant thing of hummus. And my friend's like, what in the world is that? Like, no one <laughs> knew sure. what hummus was. So now, you know, fast forward, I, I, I got to the point as I went through my teenage years, my college years, where it just became more and more apparent to me the need for mm. other people to open their eyes to this lifestyle. And that's really where the root of my passion to this day lies. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. And what a testament to the impact that it had on y'all's health as well. You can kind of notice the shift in, okay, my mom's allergies are gone or my eczema is not there anymore. I'm not getting those ear infections that I used to get all the time, or I'm not getting the flu like everyone does yearly. It just, it wasn't an issue anymore. You can't really fully understand it until you feel it. Yeah. And I tell people that all the time, let's give it a try because even if you feel like you're healthy, you feel like, you know, you're like, you know, everything's going great. Like maybe you don't have a, a diagnosis. Maybe, maybe you're, you don't have a family history of crazy chronic disease. Like we did. That was another reason we were very motivated to, yeah. to you know, adamant about this, um, you know, but, but, but there is a point where <laughs> when, when you feel the difference, you're like, I did not know that I could feel like this. Um, yes. And you just elevate, 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 elevate until you get to this point where you feel like you're thriving. Finally, you're thriving in your own skin. You feel good. You have that natural energy where you're not constantly reaching for thousand cups of coffee or having yes. to like, you know, miss out on doing fun things in life. No one wants to miss out on the fun. Right. But right. some people are too tired or too sick to have fun these yeah. days. Yeah. But that's where, that's where, you know, the motivation lies is we've got to continue to help people understand that it's plants are powerful. And the more you get, the better you're going to feel. Yeah, that is so true. And of course, we're not saying that plant-based people never get sick because we do, sure. but eating a diet that is abundant in plants, like we're talking about does build a strong immune system. Cause we know that a big part of our immune system is in our gut. And when you're eating a lot of plants and a lot of variety that builds a really healthy gut, which again is powerful for fighting off these things like Jenna and I are talking about. Yeah. And we, we, we really discuss a lot um, with what we do of resiliency, you know, but it's a big thing that my mom has always drilled into my, my heart um, of, you never know what's going to come your way in life. And, you know, whether it's, you know, you're exposed to some sort of, you know, sickness, or you have a really traumatic thing happen to you, or you're struggling with, you know, anxiety or depression, you know, depression, there's, there's something going on in your life. That's trying to take you down. Yeah. Um, you can build this foundation, the solid foundation it doesn't mean that you're not going to still feel the repercussions of some of these hard life things that come your way, but it does mean that you can, can stand stronger and you can get back up and you can maybe just not be as sick as you would yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't had this foundation. So everyone's story is different. And we see that play out in our, our raised on plants brand all the time. Everyone's story is different, but that foundation is critical and you can armor yourself up with, yeah. uh, with plants to then hopefully help no matter what comes your way. Yep. Absolutely. I could not agree more. Okay. So Jenna, you were raised in a pretty plant forward house. You end up going to school in LA and then you're there for about a decade. You get pregnant with your first. So how has even being yourself raised on plants for a big part of your life, how has that maybe shaped how you wanted to raise your family? And how did that even go with meeting your husband? I guess maybe give us a little backstory because, because I know you yeah. came, you get both had different perspectives. Oh my gosh. Yes. He, um, you see 15 corn dogs a week. So <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll see, um, in our app, we can, he shares his full story in there. You can, um, go watch and listen to it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. I mean, imagine, you know, the girl who was raised in a plant, plant forward, plant-based household meeting the corn dog guy as he is <laughs> loving gotten a nickname, um, for his, his previous habit. So he, he didn't understand understand the connection between food and health. I mean, yeah. truly like just did not believe in it. And I think a lot of people haven't made that connection yet, or maybe they've heard about it, but they haven't really fully understood it or, or dug into it more. A big part of his journey was just me teaching him and helping him understand like, no food really matters. And if you start to fuel your body in a different way, all these things that you've been struggling with for 
your whole life. Like, I mean, he had heartburn. He had, he was on Prilosec as a 12 year old. I mean, he wow. had you know, t- three bouts of Accutane for acne, for dealing with a torn shoulder, even though he was just 16, just inflammation, just running through his body. And it was so apparent to me that it was coming from the food that he was eating, but he didn't understand that. So making that connection for him was critical. And then the more that he started to eat the way I ate, he completely changed his entire, I mean, physiology. I mean, his hair is even different. Like we talk about like the texture of hair is completely different than it was when I first met him. Um, His skin looks like baby skin. He is actually, he was able to finally like put on real functional muscles for the first time, like to, to build his body the way he wanted to build it in a healthy, functional way, you know, no more, no more medication, no more antibiotics, the, the whole thing. Yeah. So he had that transformation. And so we both were on the same page when we knew we wanted to start a family of, okay, like this just, this is no, it's a no brainer. Of course, we're going to raise our family this way. And of course my concern was, can we do that? Is it safe? Like, you yeah. know, cause you hear all over the place, people just trying to tell you otherwise, tell you differently. And it's not necessarily their fault because unfortunately that this information is just now coming out and available to us. Thanks to smart dietitians like you, Ashley, <laughs> who um, are, you know, supporting this movement with research and with actually showing the evidence. Um, so our families nerded out over that for, for years. So really digging into that um, gave me the confidence that I, I knew, you know, this was not just something we wanted to do, but this was something we could do effectively, safely, and feel really good about it um, as we started our family. So I actually went, um, I made the decision, I would say eight months before we even started to try to get pregnant, that I wanted to be 100% plant-based, whole food plant-based. Like I I just, there was no more 90%. I'm not sure where I stand with this. It was I'm going all in (laughs) and I've never, and I haven't looked back. Um, so, you know, both of my pregnancies have been hundred percent plant-based pregnancies. And, um, I love that, you know, when you actually look up even, you know, the, the dietetics statement on this, um, it's, it's saying a a well-planned vegan vegetarian diet is adequate and safe for all stages of childhood and pregnancy. Yeah. Um, and, and I, and that backing of knowing that even, you know, the top, the top people in their field, whether it be, you know, in nutrition and diet, dietetics or, um, another field, functional, you know, medicine, all this stuff, like they are, they are validating us moms, um, for making this choice was critical for for me for that. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it. It sounds like, I mean, even just like watching you. So I know if you're listening, you obviously can't see Jenna's face, but you can tell how lit up she is about this and how passionate she is. And it sounds like too, making this decision to really just go all in to whole food plant-based, I would kind of putting words in your mouth is probably one of the best decisions you made, especially with your family. Well, coming from you, that means a lot. It's very validating <laughs> uh, because of course you have moments where you're like, Dang, this is, this is hard, you know, this yeah. is, this is, um, this is difficult, but, um, I do think, you know, we made the decision early on where we wanted to, um, to teach our, our girls, our family that, um, food, food matters and our mm-hmm. impact in the world matters. And I, I of course came into the world of plant-based with, um, from, from more of a prevention, you know, perspective because of my family and my mom and dad. Um, but, since then, you know, my eyes have been open so much to the environmental impact, to the impact on animals, to, uh, I mean, I care so much about every aspect of this now that we're so all in. And it would honestly be, a, it would be going against our core values as mm-hmm. human to not raise our girls this way, yeah. because it would, I, I would be lying to them. I would be, you know, teaching them something that wasn't, you know, truly a part of me. Um, yeah. And, and so I'm so excited about it and so grateful that we learned. I mean, my husband says all the time, he's like, I'm so glad I met you. And I learned all this. Oh, <laughs> he's like, yeah. You know, he's like, I wouldn't have learned all this. I, I don't know how I would have learned it. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's where we stand now is we want other families to just learn it. You can do with the information, what you want, make the best decision for your kids, Yeah. but just learn about it and educate yourself 
from a real source that has the real information, it's evidence-based, it's coming from experts, and then you will feel that same empowered, excited feeling. Yes, absolutely. And I'm sure so many people listening and watching can relate of they went plant-based for one reason, or maybe they're transitioning to plant-based right now for one reason, but then it opens the floodgates to so many other reasons as to why they didn't just start going plant-based or why they're going to stay plant-based as well. So I think that's, that was beautifully stated there. Um, well, with your family, can you give us any specifics on how plant-based eating, obviously your girls are raised plant-based, so there's no like before and after, but maybe any specifics on just how plant-based eating has changed y'all's life for the better. Again, everyone's story is different. There's so many outliers, but for our family personally, what we noticed and what we saw is that it was in the back of my head the whole time, you know, everyone was saying, oh, she'll probably get an ear infection at some point. So, you know, I had tubes for my ears for ear infections, like, yeah, I ear infection as a child. And I'm so proud to say that, you know, my daughter at this point is almost five years old and, you know, we've, we've never been to the pediatrician for a sick visit. You know, we go for wellness checkups. She's never had a single sign of an ear infection. She's, you know, she's not, she isn't dealing with the things that I dealt with. And it's so clear to me that it's because we've made, you know, it's not just one specific thing. It's, it's a bunch of little changes that have added up and compounded, not just food, even it's other things too, like the water we drink and activity yeah. and getting sunshine and, and, you know, positive thinking and, you know, your faith and all of that integrated, you know, matters. Um, so truly this like lifestyle overhaul, but I'm so proud to say that we have seen that play out in our own family. And I'm excited for the future because I know that the more that we do now when they're little, you know, we're setting them up for success as they're going through their, their life too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so exciting. And how cool that your daughter, I mean, cause I know she's around other kids. I know she goes, she gets out. So uh, the fact that like, she's just been able to be so healthy, is just a testament to how, how, I don't know, the work that you're doing, especially when it comes to plant-based eating and beyond, because it's not just about just food. There are so many other aspects, like you mentioned, like getting out, getting sunshine, moving your body, you know, trying to look at the world more positively, having a great community, a faith community, whatever that is for you. That's so important as well as this like whole wellness bubble that we're looking at. Yeah. And again, it doesn't mean that we don't still catch things. I mean, I think that's a big misconception in the world of, of family, family life is, is everyone's trying to, you know, protect their children yeah. from catching things, which it's impossible. You guys, I mean, come on, like my daughter licked the rope at the mall the other day. Like when we went to oh, see, gosh. Yeah, I mean, I was like horrified, of course, but I'm like, well, there you go. Or, you know, yeah. licking the rope at the mall. Great. Um, <laughs> not my five-year-old, my, my one-year-old. We can't run around with like a bubble around our kids. They're going to be exposed to all kinds of stuff. So protecting our kids, I think shifting that mindset to how can we protect them foundationally mm. so that when they do get exposed, because it will happen <laughs> to the preschool plagues that, you know, are rampant to the, all the things that come our way can they make it through that? Can they fight back? And maybe instead of missing a week of school, they have a runny nose for six hours, sneeze twice. And then the next morning they're feeling great again. So I know a lot of parents or caregivers are listening to this, a lot of moms, and they're trying to raise their kids plant-based, or maybe they're transitioning to plant-based. Is there anything that still surprises you or anything that maybe that you still struggle with when maybe other people find out that you're trying to raise your kids this way or that you do raise your kids this way? Maybe just some words of wisdom for some moms or dads or parents that are just struggling with this. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it is hard. I've had a number of moms that have reached out saying, you know, I really want my family to eat this way, but what's really holding me back is my fear of what that means for my child in a social setting, which is a concern, of course, it's totally valid. And I, I felt that too, a little bit, <laughs> but I feel like because my family, you know, this was just what we did growing up. I think back to my childhood and I don't, I don't ever remember feeling embarrassed that I was eating hummus instead of a Lunchable or that I was the only one at school when everyone else was sick or that I, I was, you know, I remember feeling really empowered by that. Like, you know, what do you mean you don't like hummus? It's delicious, you know, or what, like, what do you mean, um, you know, you can't come to this fun thing we're supposed to do because mm -hmm. you're sick. 
I just, I was always so grateful for it growing up and it, and it was never a, a weird thing. Um, now, you know, something that, um, I feel like has been a struggle in the last five years, um, throughout two pregnancies now plant-based is interacting with healthcare professionals who, who don't understand or have not unfortunately yet been educated about the most recent evidence that is out there showing that this is a safe and adequate way to fuel your body through all stages of childhood and pregnancy and everything that we were talking about before. Um, so teaching other moms how to armor up and, and go in there with confidence, knowing that you might have a physician who is an expert in their, their world still tell you that that's not a healthy thing for your baby and that, you know, you need to eat meat or you need to change the way that you're eating and to be able to take a deep breath mm -hmm. and, and say, you know, I thank you for telling me this. You always want to be respectful, but you also, it's your body and it's your baby and it's your life. And you've done your re research to know that this is something that you can do effectively. And yeah. I think it's what I found is it's really great to have that, um, that clarity going into these conversations um, and the confidence, of course, got to be confident about what you're doing, but the clarity and the ability to say, look, I, I understand there's a concern that maybe I would be deficient in certain nutrients or, you know, something like that. But I assure you that I am doing this in a way that um, is well-planned. I'm eating a wide variety of plant foods. I'm, you know, making sure that I'm hitting those levels that I need to of the macronutrients and um, assuring your doctor or your midwife, whoever you're working with, that that you're doing your due diligence to make sure um, that you have what you need and then do it. <laughs> yes. The important part, right? Like actually do it. Um, that's something we help people with through our raised on plant spirit is actually digging into that. We have a whole course on pregnancy um, is, is how to actually make sure you're hitting those nutrients. And the ironic thing about all of this is that a person who is on the standard American diet, the sad diet, the birthday party diet, is going to be tremendously more deficient in micronutrients and all of these things that yeah. are so important for fetal growth. Whereas a plant-based mama is flooding her body with plant foods and all of these things. And so it's really just, you know, understanding what you need to do, but knowing and feeling confident that you don't have to do a, a bunch to hit those numbers because you're getting that variety. It's just tweaking the protein and, you know, the iron levels, that sort of thing, make sure that's there as, along with other um, important factors for pregnancy that we go into like folate and um, B12 and all that stuff. So, um, so, and then uh, working with a professional, I would say this, that is familiar with a plant-based lifestyle, just like Ashley or maybe you have a more of a functional doctor or a, a midwife who is well-versed in lifestyle medicine um, and they can support you from their side and, and validate what you're doing and give you advice from a, not, from a place of knowledge, not a place of judgment. Yeah. Um, that is the most important thing. So I love telling moms, I'm like, you put your own team together, your A plus mm. team of professionals, and it's it's okay if you're not connecting with a, a, a person in that team, whether it be a doula or a doctor or um, a pediatrician, like whoever's taking care of your family, it's okay to get a new one. <laughs> it's okay yeah. to find somebody else that can be that person that comes in and supports you. You know, as we've moved into the preschool world, um, of course, the school stuff comes up, um, but we, we haven't, I mean, yes, it takes extra effort, but I would say it's never crossed my mind that it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're having a lunch every day for our child, but I love knowing that she's getting good food every day that yeah. is, you know, feeling her, we send a plant-based cupcake, you know, in when there's a birthday party and she loves it because she knows she's getting her special plant-based cupcake uh -huh. that she loves that we picked out that we keep, we keep a whole stash in our freezer now because there's so many birthday parties and it's okay to be that mom that that does that because what's happened is when I when I'm the one that's like sending in you know a special snack or helping to make sure she has what she needs that's in a school setting or at a birthday party 
Um, there's other moms that come up to me and they're like, oh, is, does the teacher let you do that? Does the teacher let you send in? And I'm like, absolutely. Like I just asked. And she yeah. said, of course. And then this mom's like, well, I want to do that. And, or we eat dairy-free. We want to send in something. And it's become more and more prevalent. Um, and it's inspiring to know that there's families out there that want this for their children. They're just nervous to ask. Yes. So ask, be that mom empowering you today. You can do it. It's worth it. And, um, you just need that support, you know, to back you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great point is like, it's not going to hurt to ask just to see what the answer is. And like you're saying too, you know, you're in a way you're advocating for your kids. You're helping set them up with this really solid foundation that you strongly believe in. And even going back to what you said about being with a health professional who maybe doesn't support your choices, I think it really is to find someone who, even if they don't live the same lifestyle as you, to find someone who is going to listen to you and support you or who knows the evidence is like, oh, you're plant-based, you're hitting all these nutrients, you're, you've done your research, okay, great, you know, you're fine. And people like Jenna are showcasing that it can be done. You can have a healthy pregnancy, you can have healthy kids when you're plant-based. Isn't it something that's, it is a little bit newer but more and more people like Jenna are doing it and kind of paving the way for other moms who are wanting to do it, but maybe a little hesitant to do it. You're not alone. We're in this yep. together and it's up to us to now, uh, I truly believe it's up to us to transform the next generation of mm. what is available to our children in a school setting, in um, a community group setting you know, getting rid of this kind of generation that we grew up in of it's okay to just eat this way, you know, for every, every meal, every occasion, everything. Yeah. Got to change that, that story. Um, and it starts with one mom at a time. Yeah, it really does. So I know Jenna, that you've been encouraged and empowered on your plant-based journey. And I know that in a way, this is your passion and purpose, and you're giving back to other moms, other parents who are wanting to raise their kids on plants. So I want to get into this app because I am so excited for it, but could you just maybe just talk about it? It just launched. Um, so at this point will probably be a few weeks ago, but give us some details or uh, all the details on this new app that you've created. Yes. Oh, we are so excited. Um, so yep, it's called raised on plants, the app, you know, really my heart <laughs> with putting this together was thinking through how hard mom life is, um, how, mm. how, how the struggles, the challenges that we face on the regular are. And then realizing that, you know, when we're dealing with all these things every single day, you know, the last thing we need is for feeding our family to be equally as hard <laughs> um, because it's just hard enough to get shoes on your toddler, let alone, you know, <laughs> trying to do all these other things. So mom life is hard. Feeding your family shouldn't be. And we also know that moms are so busy and tired that they have trouble even staying awake to read one page of a book, <laughs> let alone like educate themselves on the newest information, kind of what they should be doing to fuel their family in the right way. So, um, but they still desperately want to make those educated decisions about feeding their family. So we really put all of this education and these resources into a course format. So it's bite-sized pieces of content you can baby step your way, you know, whether you're watching in the carpool line or watching while you're, you know, or in the shower, because that's the only place you have privacy. Um, sometimes not even, not even in the shower, <laughs> you, um, but, you know, just figuring out like little, little pockets of time in your day that you can learn a new kitchen skill or learn from an amazing, you know, plant-based dietitian, or uh, we have our functional pediatrician that does a crash course in gut health on there. Um, and, and then of course it's more than just an app, right? It's, it's a community and we, um, we really wanted to make, um, you know, the education available and affordable for, for families, but also to create a safe judgment-free space for health conscious moms to connect and to support mm -hmm. each other off of social media. I mean, there's, there's not an outlet for that, um, really that is what this platform is. And you'll see, you know, incredible free resources when you download the app, um, including a course from Ashley here on plant-based myth busting, which she rocked it. It's so cool. You're You guys are going to love it. Um, but anyone who upgrades to our all access membership will actually unlock the entire app, which has kind of the core content of how we really support families to eat more plants, 
monthly live cooking classes, community channels where moms can chat based off their season of life that they're in to mm-hmm. kind of connect with other moms that are new moms or pregnant or have kids in middle school. Um, and then of course there's some, like some personalized goal tracking, um, in there. There's a whole section on that, that you can check in on the app every day and just match your goal or track your progress of how many plants you ate that day or how many times you cooked at home this week. Um, and then of course, exclusive members only like events and retreats and stuff like that, that we're doing too, that you would be invited to. So it's so much more than just, you know, a resource platform. It, to me, it's, bringing moms together around this. And we're just so grateful that we have this now to offer people. Oh, I'm so excited for you all. I mean, the app is stunning. There is so much content in there. And like you said, I think that's probably one of the most special pieces of this app is that community that that you all are creating as well, because it can feel incredibly isolating to try and raise your kids on plants by yourself or if you don't have the support of local people. Um, So I think that's just such a beautiful thing, Jenna, to create that community where moms can connect no matter where they're at in the stage of raising their kids. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, you know, I should say, you know, the app itself um, of course you're going to see, I'm speaking to you, you mama, like if you're a mom, like you're going to, be like, she is speaking to my heart. Um, but I, there are so many people that enjoy our content who are grandparents or who don't have kids yet, but might want them one day or don't have kids at all. And they just love eating plant-based. And so it, it, there is something for everyone on there. I don't want you to be, if you're not a mom yet, like you're like, Oh, this doesn't apply to me. It absolutely does. Please join us, be a part of this, but all for all the moms out there, you're going to love it. Cause there's so many things in there that'll be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. There really are. So we'll include a bunch of information about the app in the show notes, but I know there was a couple other things that you wanted to touch on with the app itself. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So um, if you want to download the app, it's in the app store. It's in um, it's on Google play as well. So you can, can just search raised on plants. Our, our website is raised on plants.com. So we just want to learn more or explore membership options on there, or we have a whole private coaching package that's ROP, really overwhelmed parents um, coaching package. So that's perfect. That's you, and you're like, I need some serious help over here, some an intervention, then we can help you with that. We're raised on plant at raised on plants on social media. And then um, today we put together a special discount for all of you listening. So if you're listening, I'm so excited um, that we're able to offer this If you text plant centered to 704-579-6429, you can actually lock in a special discount code for life for a lifetime. If you decide you want to upgrade your account from the free version to the all access membership. So I love that we're able to um, offer that to you guys. Cause I know the community on here is so strong. There's so many of you that, that care and that are so excited for this access to education and information. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for putting that together. And you're right. We love our plant-centered community. They're amazing. Um, So thank you for putting that special offering together for them. Thank you. Thank you. And I would, you know, tell you guys, one of my favorite things that we've set up with this is that for every membership that we, that we have, a portion of that is allocated to go to a mom in need who does not have the resources or access to healthy food, or just honestly support to raise her family the way that she wants to raise, raise it, um, raise them. And so, I mean, I get emotional talking about it, but I feel like, you know, parents, moms specifically, like we show up for each other. And if there is something that happens to another mom, like Mm. their tears are our tears, you know, their heart is our heart because you see it in your own family. It plays out in your own family. And um, I knew that if we wanted to do this, we wanted to, you know, do it in a way that extended way beyond the impact we were making for our members, but way beyond that into communities that um, that really need us and need our support and might not have the access to the same things that we do. So, so proud that that's going to be a part of our legacy and what we're creating with Raised on Plants too. Yeah, I think that's lovely. And Jenna, y'all are so giving in not just the information, but your reach just expands so far and your passion and your enthusiasm for this. So I just, I appreciate you coming on and sharing not just your story, but also what you're doing in the world to create impact when it comes to supporting other people who want to raise their family on plant-based eating. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me and right back at you. I'm so (laughs) the work that 
you guys do. I mean, I, I cannot even um, begin to explain the impact that you're making, Ashley, by being such um, a point of authority, but somebody who understands um, the power of this plant-based movement. And I love seeing all of us come together who have been a part of this movement for a while in our own journey, but now, you know, being able to come together and collaborate as brand owners, professionals, um, healthcare practitioners, like whatever your story is, and that's what's going to change the world. So thank you for um, bringing me into to this and having me be a part of today. Of course. I'm so grateful. So thank you for joining us today. Everything that Jenna mentioned will include in the show notes. So it's really easy for you to just click below and find everything that you need to find. Um, you can check out the app and all that great stuff. So Jenna, again, thank you so much for coming on and just sharing your beautiful wisdom about plant-based living. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you so much for listening and we will catch you next time. Until next time, keep thriving.